Hi everyone, this is Drift Bot of the Week, and this week we're going to once again look at the problem of being faced with a sudden surge in demand where you have just way more phone calls and emails that you can handle. That's normally a good problem to have, but the issue with it is that you have to go through a lot of people who aren't that interested in your product uh, to get the ones that will buy, or you have to go through a lot of uh, crumbs and small fish before you get to the big fish. So this is where DriftBot can help in terms of directing traffic and filtering traffic and connecting salespeople with the uh, with the most immediate accounts and driving the rest toward self-serve options. And so I'll use DocuSign as an example. So I'm on DocuSign's homepage and immediately the bot pops up. And see the bot is offering, show me how DocuSign works, which is great. That's valuable, that's useful. A lot of people don't know how, how DocuSign works. And typically you would want your bot to pop up with that sort of messaging, a message where the bot is offering something of value before asking for anything. So you always wanna give before you ask. So that's great. And uh, let's say I do want to see how DocuSign works. Let's see what the bot does. Okay, so bot's showing me a video explaining how DocuSign is going to work. I'm not going to play the video, but suffice to say you could actually play it within the chat window, both the audio and the video, but I'm going to skip through that. Now it's asking if that was helpful. That was helpful. And the reason it's doing this is just to establish some trust in the conversation in the chat, which is great. And now that it's engaged me and built the trusting relationship, now it's trying to get to know me a little bit better. So now it's in the understand stage where it needs to know, get to know who I am. So it can either filter me to self service options or get me to a salesperson. So it's asking me if I'm, per, if I'm for personal use or business use, I'm gonna say business. So for personal use, DocuSign actually has sell serve options on their website where people can buy the personal options directly from the website. It's very easy. It's a very easy checkout process. But for big businesses, it would need to ta more tailor fit the features uh, and the pricing for those companies. So that's why it's asking. It's asking for greater than three us users. I'm going to say yes. Let's say we are. We do want more than three users uh, creating and sending contracts. And it's letting me know why it's asking, because if it was less than three users, once again, even businesses could buy, if it's just one or two or three users, you could just buy directly from the website. But uh, if it's more than that, then it would re require me to speak to someone. And so it's explaining that, why it asks those questions and letting me know that, that I do need to speak to a human now and why I need to speak to a human. It's offering to loop in a human so it doesn't do it automatically first asks if i want that and i do want that the chat is going well i'm interested in this but it has one more question am i in real estate the reason it's asking this question is because docusign has two sort of segments one real estate that's their largest segment and then it's all other industries so let's say theoretically i am in real estate now with take that information and get me to the right representative who specializes in real estate or specializes in all other industries, but no one's available. Now see, normally what would happen is if I was to call and no one was available and let's say I press all the right options on the phone and no one was available, the conversation would end. I might lose interest. I might go explore other products and services and DocuSign would lose a customer. But the bot keeps the conversation going by offering to get a call for me at a time that works well for me. And that's very customer centric. That sounds good to most people. And it needs my email address to do that. Now, had I put my email address in at any other point on the website, it wouldn't ask again, it would already have it. And for those of you wondering, what about the name and what about the, uh, the title and the company name? That stuff it can look up with the email address, so no need to ask. The bot is not gonna ask any more questions than it needs to. It wants to keep the conversation as smooth as possible. So I scheduled my meeting and it's letting me know who it's gonna be with. It's showing me a picture of the sales representative that's gonna call me so I know who I'm gonna be talking to. That's great. And it sent me the meeting invite to my email. Fantastic, very easy. And lastly, it's offering if I want a free trial for free. And I'm going to say yes. And the reason it's doing this is just to keep me engaged with the product 
and so I can play around with the product and maybe answer a lot of my own questions and maybe come up with questions that I can't answer myself and it'll just make my chat with the salesperson much more productive the next day and finally it's asking if I want any further help I'm going to say no all good and sending the chat in a very nice way thank you for your time we look forward to speaking with you tomorrow so it's setting anticipation and a positive tone for the call that I'm expecting uh, at the time that I've booked so there you guys have it this is a great example of how a chatbot can help in these scenarios where you're dealing with just too much volume it can filter out customers who either aren't interested in your product or are interested in options that can be self-serviced as directing the the bigger fish that need dedicated salespeople over to over to salespeople and it's pulling them in into the live chat and when they're not available it's booking a meeting for later on and keeping the conversation going hope you guys enjoyed that if you guys would like me to look at any other companies uh, please let me know in the comments any feedback let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe or follow us so you don't miss the next one and until next time take care